Happy New Year! Yeah. Woo. Makeup Monday is back in full effect for 2019. Hey everyone, I'm Courtney Kaysen and welcome to Makeup Monday. We will be here with you every Monday around 4 p.m. to not only build a face, have a lot of fun, talk about makeup trends, and show you everything that we're using just as like a little Monday happy hour. And if you wanna say hi, we are on the Beauty IQ Facebook page, we're on QVC, I think we're on my page, Courtney Case and QVC, we're all over the place. So say hi, if you have questions, you can absolutely type them in. We have the most amazing crew standing by, which I feel like we should do, let's do a real quick roll call in New Year's resolution. Mike, we'll start with you. Uh, my, I'm Mike. I'm a multimedia producer mm -hmm. for digital content, and uh, I didn't really make New Year's resolutions, but I did decide I was going to leave my phone mm -hmm. in a spot so I'm not always on it. To it. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. CC? So I'm the other CC. I'm the beauty social strategist, and my resolution is to go to bed earlier. Oh. Like what time earlier? Like what like, time are you thinking? Oh, like 10. That's okay, early. great. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. What about you? I'm Jamie. I'm the social media intern. Just started She's today. She's new. Yay, Jamie! Yay. <laughs> and my New Year's resolution is to stop being lazy, and if I have things to do, just get it done. So I could relax. Just keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. All right, and then last but not least. I'm Ashley. I'm the other social intern. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. My New Year's resolution was to bring pack my lunch more. Pack your oh. lunch more. Great. We love that. And then Sean, last but not least. Hello. Hello. Sean, <laughs> multimedia producer here, QVC. And my New Year's resolution was to put my phone away before bed. Yes. Done. Nice. Great. Don't look at it ever at night. Lots of great New Year's resolutions. I am currently doing mine. I didn't think I can do it. I am on day two of an all juice <gasps> cleanse. Wow. That's all I hope you don't do that all year. No, no, no. This is like 72 hours of what I thought was going to be terrible. It's not awful. I do miss the physical active eating food, but it kind of makes me think like maybe I was just like bored eating and I didn't have anything to do. So I'd like... It, snack on a Dorito. It's very weird coming back from an uh, all liquid yeah. and then eating. Yeah, I'm on an all liquid diet, so we'll see how it goes. My husband's doing it today. The Eagles had a fabulous win yesterday. <laughs> and so I actually feel terrible for him because his office ordered pizza and he was like, I'll be drinking my upbeat beet juice. And on that note, let's talk about New Year's resolutions and your skin, because this is the month where you get a lot of self-care. You're thinking, what can I do better to maybe make my makeup routine a little more simplistic, but also a little more impactful for what it offers my skin. And so we wanted to feature Bare Minerals. And so our theme today is kind of getting back to that beautiful, basic Bare Minerals complexion. And if you guys don't know, they actually launched a brand new foundation. It is the Complexion Rescue with SPF. It comes in a foundation stick. CC is going to post the link to it. It ships out uh, February 4th, and we're the only retailer that has it. And so since it's so limited, we cannot even steal samples from backstage. And so I will be using the Bare Pro liquid lipstick, or not liquid lipstick, liquid foundation to get this started. I'm going to use it in shade 18 because in terms of Complexion Rescue, I need it. I was in Florida over the holidays, and dear goodness, it was super sunny, but I'm like, my complexion's like all out of whack. So I'm just gonna take this shade that you see right here and start applying. Should we ask what everybody's New Year's resolutions were? Yeah, so I'm were? actually polling everyone now to see if you made a New Year's resolution. So 73% said no. But you know what, good for you. Yeah. Like you don't need the pressure of January 1st to be like, I'm gonna do something different or better for myself. You can do that anytime. Exactly. But here I am, day two in a juice cleanse, dreaming about cheeseburgers. <laughs> so how long is the juice cleanse? Okay, so the juice cleanse is till tomorrow. So I am like officially halfway through. Okay. I started okay. yesterday. Do you know what your first meal is going to be? I thought about it. Last night before we went to bed, my husband and I were brushing our teeth at the vanity and we were like, what do you think a bacon cheeseburger with ranch dressing would taste like right now? <laughs> we're like, we've got to stop talking. Um, I think I'm going to ease back into it with like maybe like oatmeal and berries. I don't know. Or like some avocado toast. Like that honestly just sounds like a king's meal right now. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, look at the difference in my complexion. Look how red this side is versus like how just balanced and like easy and natural this looks. Love. That looks like that has winter burn. 
Uh, Heather says hello. Hi. Nicole says hello. Hello. Pamela says you're beautiful without makeup. God bless you. A lot of redness today. Could be that, like, my inside, like, fiery attitude of, like, juice, no, ma, it's wreaking <laughs> havoc on my skin. What juice cleanser are you doing? Is it, it's, it's called Juice from the Raw? Ooh. Yeah, I got, like, an email about it, and then it sounded like a good idea on <laughs> December 27th, and then it shipped, and we were like, oh, no. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna add just like a slight lighter color underneath my eyes just to kind of brighten everything up. And I love working with Bare Minerals because it's never makeup you have to feel bad about wearing. I mean, Cece's trying to go to bed earlier yeah. over there. I always wanna make sure I take my makeup off, but I feel like with Bare Minerals, it's like all such good for you makeup. It's like not a big deal if you fall asleep in it. But Barbara's, take your makeup off. I'm oh, sorry, Barbara says hello, and Kathy says hello. Hi. Hi girls, good to see you. Happy 2019. You know what would be another good question to ask? Okay. If your makeup routine changes because it's cold outside. Ooh. Sometimes I feel very uninspired when the weather is cold to do my makeup. I'm like, ooh, it's just like tinted moisturizer and then it's done. But then I think about people who live in Minnesota that are like so super glam, that have all the amazing coats, the winter, you know, fashion, and it's like, they go every day and put a full face on. They are unaffected by the cold weather. Totally. So maybe, maybe for them, it's like summer. Jean, I feel like a new person. Jean asked, uh, do I have to use a brush with what you're using? I use my fingers. No, and that was for Jean? That was for Jean, yes. Hi, Jean. No, absolutely not. This is super, super light and super serum-y. So I just use a, used a brush because my complexion was super red. Um, and to be perfectly candid, I washed my face with hand soap, so, so that, that's why. That's why I had to stipple it on there. But I mean, you can see just from this, it's really light, but it's got great coverage. And that's one of my favorite things about the Bare Pro Foundation is it's so light. I feel like you still get that moment where your skin can take a breath. You're not weighted down by makeup. And then yet it still looks like real balanced skin, which I'm super appreciative of. Um, now, ooh, these are really fun. So. I'm actually gonna take you, you know what, no way. I gotta do the brows. This is, this is out of order and out of context. So this is Brow Master, and this little oval tip that you see right here is actually the perfect shape because it is so small and so micro that it's meant to mimic the same exact measurement as your actual brow hair, which is great because when you think about a pencil, a lot of times it looks too drawn on, it doesn't look like your natural hair texture, and so you want one that has, Oh, bless you. <laughs> uh, there's a couple oh, sorry. Uh, questions about how to choose a foundation color. Okay, so there, there's a lot of ways that you can choose a foundation color. Someone once told me to do it like by the inside color of your forearm, and I'm like, that's not gonna work for me because I am part ghost and I can't be ghost right here. Um, so I always say like, check by your neck or your decollete because if you think about the way that you blend your makeup i don't think that you should blend your makeup all the way down your neck and into your decollete but because these areas tend to get more sun what you don't want to have happen is have this have more warmth and then you look like a ghost in your complexion so for me personally when i'm trying out a new foundation i always go just either right on my decollete or right on my neck and even if that means warming up my complexion i do it because since i wash my face every um every day and twice a day, a lot of times, like because you have that fresh skin, it's naturally lighter. So that's how I match my foundation. How do you guys match your foundation? I normally just guess, honestly. Hope <laughs> so for I the best. Out, but like, yeah. If it's too dark, I'll just put a little bit on and make it work. Okay, yep. hope for the best. That's that's also a way to do it. I also check with my, with my neck. You I do, yeah. I just always feel like my complexion is so much lighter than everywhere because you see it in like Instagram posts, like where you're at the person at the end of the table and you're like, why is my face so much whiter and lighter? <laughs> and you're like, how in the world did that happen? So Pamela says, yes, her routine changes due to the very cold weather. Her skin gets dry, so she can't use a powder. It dries on her skin more. 
I think that's a great point. And I think with this bare liquid foundation, I really love the hydrating properties in there. They actually have some hyaluronic acid in there. And that's really important, especially in dry weather, because that retains a thousand times its weight in water. So when you think about maybe what little moisture you do have in your skin, you want to hold on to it. And so that's why it's a great ingredient to have in your foundation. And I also think with like the balance, it makes your skin look like it's like completely in moisture balance. It's not something where you're like, ooh, I have to add like some dewiness to make it look like it is. It just naturally is because of the ingredients that are in there, which I'm a big fan of. And then by the way, I am using the brunette, because I am a brunette. That is what shade brunettes use. But I also think if you like a darker brow, you can use this, even if you're blonde or you're silver fox or any of that. Jean wants to know if you like mineral veil. I do like mineral veil. I guess I'm just asking in like what, what context you need it. Um, <coughs> I don't always wear a translucent powder or a setting powder. Um, that's just based off personal preference. I mean, sometimes I do. If I wear heavier makeup, I absolutely do. But like on a day like this, we actually have this um, translucent powder duo. And so this isn't necessarily mineral veil, but of course it's made of minerals. And what's nice about this is you can take this fluffy brush that's in our brush roll. And while this is a mattified one, you can still see on that black brush, nothing's coming off. But this will just be your insurance policy that if you are a little shiny, in different places, you can kind of just mat it out without taking away the overall like luster of your skin. So yeah, I think if you want to use Mineral Veil, absolutely. I tend to do it on heavier makeup days um, or upon request. But I haven't used this glow, which could be fun. So maybe let's see what that looks like. So we ended the one full, 79%, no resolution. No resolutions. Love you, girlies. You guys are perfect <laughs> exactly the way you are. And we just launched the next one. Do you switch up your routine in the winter? So the choices are yes, definitely, or nope. I just find that when I'm really cold, I'm really lazy. Yes. I, <laughs> I, like, I hesitate to say that out loud because I really try not to be lazy. But if it's cold outside, I just want no part of it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna use these Bare Minerals uh, Bare Pro Shadow Sticks. These things are awesome. They come in a set of five, and they're kind of all these really cool metallic shades. So you have this like champagne, you have gold, you have rose gold. Here's a beautiful uh, kind of like slate color, and then we have your bronze color as well. The color payoff here, oh, I lost it. I'm not the professional, jeez, okay. Sorry, Mike, thank you. The color payoff for these are really nice because it doesn't necessarily have to go on your eyes. So that is like the rose gold shade and you've got a little bit of playtime, which I like because these are really creamy. So if you wanted to use this as a highlighter, you could basically go from just that right there. So maybe I'll do that in just a second, but I'm gonna take this bronze shade and I'm gonna see, yeah, we'll go right on the lids, just right there. And I love anything that like you can put on like a crayon. That just makes me so happy. Cause a lot of times like when you're doing makeup, especially if you want to do like quick makeup, you're just using your fingertips. I feel like Bare Minerals has a ton of products that are like easy to use. Yes. And I will say like, if you were putting your makeup on with your fingertips, like I have a girlfriend that commutes almost an hour and a half into New York City every single day. And she's like, I only put my makeup on with my fingertips. I'm like, good for you. Yeah. Cause like at 4.30 in the morning, I'm not putting it on at the house. Sorry. Like all bets are off when you have to wake up that early. All right, so I'm gonna take this champagne color and then I'm just gonna do a little bit in the center right here. And I love how well these play with each other. Like you can just layer upon layer upon layer in no particular order. And they just look fresh, especially if you have creepy eyelids. These are a really nice thing to have around because with all the dewiness that they give back and all of the creaminess, they kind of hide dry creepy lids. So Courtney, we actually have a ton of questions. So Jean. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Jean wants to know if you use a base serum and Tina wants to know what you use to set, so they might have just been tuning in now. Okay, so do I use a base serum for skincare? Yes, I don't think you should ever put makeup on with the naked skin. I think that you will be terribly depressed on the wear of your makeup, but I also think because your makeup 
is um, really reliant on your skin having moisture to like kind of maintain the look. I think you should also have a base moisturizer as well as that serum and hopefully something with SPF. You can wear a primer. I generally don't. Um, it's not that I don't believe in primer. Again, it just goes back to being lazy. So uh, most of the time when I go down to like the QVC store, I have great intentions of like, oh, I'll get a primer and it sits on my countertop. I do think with a lot of skincare like It Cosmetics, like Bye Bye Lines, that's a great kind of primer serum combo if you wanna try that out. I also think Laura Geller makes a really fantastic spackle. Um, she's got an ethereal one that's absolutely gorgeous, so you can use that. And then as far as setting, I really like the setting sprays and I'll actually use the Tatcha Hydrating Mist to set my makeup. That way everything's like fresh, it's dewy and really easy to use. So I hope that answers. So I'm just doing a little multi-layering. I'm taking like the champagne color. I'm just gonna go up and around the brow, just like so. And I'm just kind of lightly layering it under the brow just so it pops a little. And then last but not least, I think I'll use this silver color. This is pretty, just to brighten up around my eye. Oh, yes. Look at that. She's awake. And then Kim wants to know if the foundation settles. She says, you don't have wrinkles. Kim, I do have wrinkles. I wake up every day with tired wrinkles, or my favorite is how I know that I'm in my 30s and don't sleep on a silk pillowcase is when I get the lime from my pillow on my face for about two hours until it wears down until I drink enough water. Um, but no, it doesn't settle. And I think that again goes back to the great ingredients that are in here. One of the things with Bare Minerals that you'll notice is it's not particularly heavy and because of this serum texture that you see, there's nothing for it to really settle into because it's almost this self-leveling that it really just kind of like sinks into your skin and illuminates it. So I think you'll find that instead of settling, it kind of masks your um, areas that may have signs of aging, like wrinkles, especially underneath your eyes. That's where I think you'll like it the most. But foreheads too, because a lot of times like you'll get like the sagginess on your forehead and then the deep set lines. I don't think you'll have a problem with this. Um, really quickly, I think I'm just gonna take the silver one last time and put it all the way underneath my eye. I don't generally line lighter under my eye, but I kind of love the way that this is looking. And I just wanna see what it looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. Especially for January, you don't have like too heavy of makeup. And then I'm just blending. Blending out with my fingertips. <sighs> see, I feel like this just looks refreshed. Totally and utterly refreshed. Which a lot of times January, I just feel like you're recovering. Recovering from the holidays, all the great wine, all the great dessert. <laughs> Obviously none of that for me right now. <laughs> you know, in the calf today, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to sit down and drink my juice while all my friends were eating lunch. Willpower, that takes a lot of willpower. It was a lot of willpower. And I have to tell you, like our calf must have just been on fire today with like the grilled cheeses, the oh ham. I could smell it for miles. <laughs> I was like, oh, it smells delicious. <sighs> yeah, all right, so this is a really great liner for several different reasons. A lot of us want to define our eyes without having to weigh our eyes down. It is a classic question that we get on Beauty IQ all the time because a lot of people will put themselves in age buckets. Like, hi, I'm a woman, I'm 40 years old. I was told that I couldn't wear a thick liner because it's aging. I was told I couldn't wear black because it's aging. None of that is true, and I think it's completely dependent on the product that you want to use. And so this is called One Fine Line for a reason. Now, when you get this home, pay attention to how it clicks because you cannot retract it. I know it sounds kind of strange, but Shaman put this over here. So all you'll do is just click counterclockwise, and that's what makes it go up. But careful not to overdo it because you don't want to break the pencil. But look how tiny that is. It's almost microscopic. And so for somebody that wants to line without look like looking like they're lining, this is the perfect liner to do that. But then you still have full playroom that if you want to do something a little bit thicker or a little bit more precise, you can still do that. I'm going to go for more of like a natural, natural vibe today. And then I'm going to use, I guess this is black. We have black and then we have plum. Yeah. That's gotta be black. Okay, so how you'll see the color is there's this little swipe right there. So this is plum. So I'll probably use that on the bottom of my waterline. I'll start first. 
go counterclockwise. Uh, Jean says you are very pretty and do great, do a great job uh, making up. And uh, Karen wants to know where you've been. Thank you. Hi, Karen. I was on vacation for two eight two weeks. I went and spent time with my family in Knoxville and in Florida, where it was sunny and eighty degrees every day. Uh, we have Giuseppe here from Italy, city hi, of Giuseppe. Rome. He says ciao. He's tuning in on BDIQ's Facebook. Yay! Hi. And Andrea on BDIQ's Facebook wants to know which color is the darker one on your lid. The darker one on my lid is Brilliant Bronze from the Shadow Stick from Bare Minerals. And actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna line my line, my lines, or not my lines, my eyes with um, just the plum because I actually like the way this is going. So see how tiny that line is? It's just very precise. And you can tight line if you want to, but the other thing I like about this is you can really get into the lash line. So you shouldn't have like that moment where you're like, ooh, I skipped a liner between my lash and my eyelid. So yeah, see, super subtle, but again, like you can kind of just tell the difference just from right there. Uh, the other reason I like these is I haven't quite figured out how to smoke my liner out yet. I think that is a, a skill a lot of women have, but I do not. And so I feel like this is small enough that you can kind of smoke it out if you want to, but if not, just kind of blend it into the lash line. Woo, love. Okay, I have that. All right, so that's gonna be it for my liner. Love, then we're gonna move to two different mascaras because if you know me you know that I never really wear the same mascara twice even though on occasion I do I prefer two different ones I just feel like it helps me build up my baseline of my lashes and if they look fake because of it so today we're going to be using for the first one love every lash so that's going to have a brush that's a little bit um, thicker and condensed with the bristles what that's going to do is help me get in really close to my lash line where I put in that plum liner and then to make them extra fluffy and voluminous, I'm going for lash domination. So look at the difference in the bristles. First step, second step. All right, here we go. And actually, I'll just do this on one eye versus the other so that you can see a difference. Because I do think some people are like, oh, you don't need a second mascara. I think it makes all the difference in the world. Gina wants to know what uh, color foundation you were wearing. Hi, Gina. In the Bear Pro, I think I was in pecan. Which, how do you say pecan? Pecan or pecan? I think I said mm. pecan. I feel like I'm thinking about it too much. Pecan. Yes. Yeah, pecan. I say pecan. When it has, like, butter, then I say butter pecan. Oh, yeah. Oh, now that's interesting. So the butter makes you go lighter. Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows for certain? Okay, so this one, this lash domination is so great because if you want volume, these little bristles twist in a perfect way around this wand so no lash ever falls through the bristles, it just holds on for dear life. Caitlin has a question. Hi, Caitlin. Courtney, do you have, uh, how do you keep your under eyes deep puffed? I'm weeks away from 30, and that has been my biggest struggle by far. Caitlin, welcome to life in your 30s. The other thing no one will tell you is the eve of your 30th birthday. You'll go out, you'll have a great dinner with your girlfriends, maybe your spouse. You'll be thinking, life is amazing. I love 30. And then you'll wake up the next morning and you're like, saying a bad word, no one told me about bloating from salt. That is like one thing that forever changed. Like when I figured out that my body looked like like that because it was like bloated all of a sudden, I was like, maybe I'm doing something wrong in my diet. And it's like, nope, you just can't eat salt anymore. Um, so I will offer you that advice for you about to turn 30. And then I will say the biggest thing that has helped me because I can get super puffy underneath my eyes. I actually do two different things. I invested in that Glow Pro Micro Needler, 
which sounds really aggressive, but it, I don't know how else to say it, but it causes like little punctures in your skin that you can't quite feel that help your skin kind of rebuild it so that like when you have puffiness, which feels like your under eyes are sinking in, it like kind of plumps back up. So I do that and new face. And the key with new face is that's the, um, what do you call it? It's a, um, what, what kind of technology is new face? It's um, like a um, microcurrent. Microcurrent, yes, yeah. it's a microcurrent facialist. When you send the microcurrent, you wanna go inwards toward your lash ducts, which I thought was crazy because I was like, no, I'm trying to move it outwards. Like, I feel like everything's sinking. You want it to like flush out everything. So that's my, that's my secret for my under eyes. And as soon as I discovered that micro needling thing, game changer. I also think Tatcha makes a really great investment worthy um, eye cream and that's on beautyiq.com. So I hope that helps, and happy 30th birthday. My girlfriends took me out for my 30th birthday and they, they gave me a martini glass that said Dirty 30, and we drank dirty <gasps> martinis all night. Love. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of fans are asking if the eyeliners and the eyeshadow sticks come in a set. The answer is yes, Yay. and I pasted the link below. Thanks, Cece. You can find everything on the Makeup Monday landing page. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We have a landing page. So in case you miss it or you like want to come back and you're like, shoot, I'm at work, I have to go to a week meeting. What kind of eyeliner did you use? Go to beautyiq.com or qvc.com and you can search Makeup Monday and it'll all be posted there, courtesy of um, CC. Yay. Yeah, all right, okay. so I'm gonna just throw a little blush on real quick. And then this is not Bare Minerals, it's Eve Pearl, but I just want a little something something. And I'm just gonna go around the eye because I like doing that. And then I'll go back to highlighter because I can't not highlight. <coughs> and I will say, if you think I'm using too much blush, it's a matter of personal preference. Mm -hmm. I flirt with a line that is unacceptable with a lot of blush a lot of time, but I just feel like as somebody who's so pale, I don't have a lot of definition <laughs> in my skin. So I need the natural flush, just like that. So it's your preference. This is how I do it. This is why we call Makeup Monday. Um, where did the highlighters go? Okay, these are really great. These are the Crystalline Highlighter Sticks. And so I'm gonna take this beautiful rosy gold color, just like that. Oh, look how pretty. And it's got just enough of like the cool tones in there too to like balance it out. So I'm just gonna put it right there, right on there. And I'm just doing it at the top of my cheekbones, but wherever you wanna put it, where you want like a little bit of light, maybe I'll put some right here for a little fun. Ooh. In okay. response to your puffiness question, a lot of people are commenting about Plexiderm and they love it. <gasps> that is such a great thing. Okay, secretly, so like I know that we work at a like multi-channel shopping network. I would DVR Plexiderm commercials because I wasn't sure that it was gonna work. Because I was like, if we don't have it here, it doesn't work. Like, no way, no how. And then we got it, and Melinda, the guest, who was absolutely fabulous, I like, I was like, hi, I'm Courtney. Can I touch your face? <laughs> <laughs> that stuff is so great. And speaking of makeup that you can use with uh, Plexiderm, this uh, Bear Pro Liquid would be the perfect accoutrement to do that. Just wait 10 minutes after you use Plexiderm. That stuff is like liquid gold. I pray that we have a TSV of that. We couldn't keep it in stock. We still have like a tr yeah. we have problem keeping it in stock. I mean, we've had like, I think 165,000 sets of those spoken for and no regrets. Crazy. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little light layering around my lips, just so my lips look fuller. Steph says, Cece is an expert in beauty <gasps> and she's not talking about me. <laughs> ah, we have a lot of fabulous CCs on this team, but thank you. CC squared over there is also awesome. Um, okay, so what should I do lip color wise? I feel like my makeup's like really fresh and like a little, should I go bold or should I go like a perfect nude? What do you guys think? Nude is never wrong in my opinion. Nude is never wrong, okay, great. Jamie's nude is never wrong, perfect. Um, okay, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a nude. All right, I don't see any nude liner here, but that's, well, actually, yeah, that's pretty nude-ish. 
Okay, so I'm gonna lightly line my lips with this color. This is the um, under over lip liner. All right, so I guess that means we can overdraw. All right, so I'm gonna do this just right here. Courtney, when you get a chance, yes. uh, Anya, I think her name is, is asking for how to safely remove makeup mm -hmm. for complete beginners. Hope and pray. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, there's, okay, yeah, I've got a lot of good suggestions for that. It's an idea for a future video, too. If you guys saw what I used today, you would have been like, how do you have a job at a beauty channel? I mean, I think I used, like, full-on antibacterial soap on my face, which I do not recommend. <laughs> like, I actually washed my face, and I was like, I think I aged a year. <laughs> All right, Jamie, I thought that was like kind of a nude pencil. It's not. I don't hate where this is going. Ooh, so like very. maybe I'll do this like in combination with like a slightly nude color. I actually have like zero nudes on the table. Well, actually, this is more. Heather wants to know, what was the blush that you used? Ooh, the blush I used was from Eve Pearl, and it's just this blush trifecta. It's like cool, rich, and then kind of a bronzy tone. I just stick the whole brush in there and then I get like a custom tone. It's called Sassy Cheeks. All right, Whoa. so I'm gonna take, all right, so I'm gonna take this Gin Nude Lip Gloss and this is called Absolute Impress. And then I'm gonna layer that with Jamie's pick of the Ingenious Lip Color from the Gin Nude Collection as well. And these actually come in a set of six. So I will show you those right there. Ta-da. And then this comes in a set of two with a darker color, just like that. So I have to say this comment because I know who she's talking about, but Steph says, Stassi from Vanderpump Rules is your doppelganger. I have heard that before. And can I tell you, it's I think she's super pretty. Oh, yeah. But like, I, I don't know if I can't see it because I have dark hair and she has brown hair. Yeah. I also get the redheaded girl from the office, which I can't see because she has red hair and bangs oh, and I don't. Yeah. Um, I love Stassi. Do you watch Vanderpump Rules? So I binge watch Vanderpump Rules because I get so attached to characters and storylines. If I don't, if I, if I wait for it week for week, it's all I talk about. Yeah. <laughs> and The Bachelor's on tonight, FYI. Okay, I need to tell you something, and I don't want, like, any talk back from oh, any no. of this. I have never ever <gasps> in my life no. watched a season or a show of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. You have, you nope. have to. I've never seen an episode. Okay, well tonight's the night. <laughs> it's gonna be good don't DVR. Do it. Don't is it, it the guy? Courtney, yeah. this, this is like eating food right now. You should fight that impulse. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that. Okay, so. It's just so bad it's good, you know? I have to say, I, I did see it. a promo with the guy and I, I shouldn't say it out loud. Honestly, it's not, I feel like a lot of people, they won't like the main person and they won't watch it. Like, my friend's like, I'm not watching it. But to me, that it's all about the, like, drama. Yeah, like... That you watch unfold. That's not your drama. How... So, in the world of reality television, I mean, obviously, this is pre-taped. Like, how long is this going on? Is this, like, four days total four with months. all... Four months. I think four to six months. Mm. I'm a long-time no. Bachelor watcher. I've never seen an episode... But I've also, I didn't see Star Wars until like a couple years ago and then I watched like all nine movies and was like unavailable for the month of January. Like I'm unavailable to food right now, it was unavailable to the rest of the world because so I was like, hang on, what about Han Solo and Princess Leia? <laughs> like, I wonder what they're the doing. Lip. What's the lip color Yay, again? okay, so this was like kind of courtesy of Jamie. So I tried to take the most nude colored lip, which was not nude at all. <laughs> Um, this is called Kissathon, and it's the Bare Minerals liner. I then took the Gin Nude Absolute Impress, layered that over with this ingenious, like, kind of white, creamy nude color, and oh somehow boy. got this. It'll probably never be recreated again, ever. Um, so Kissathon and Gin Nude. Gin Nude Ingenious. Ingenious. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> I tell you what, a lot of times when you guys ask my lip color when I'm on air, our makeup artists, like in the QVC salon, will mix 11 different shades. And they're like, ooh, I'm feeling this in your shoe. And you're like, what shade is that? And they're like, don't know. <laughs> 
you'll never have it again. Um, okay, so that was like really easy. I guess we should recap everything that we used because today was like all about your best skin, your fresh skin for January. And I will tell you, I really appreciate having the Bear Pro liquid foundation here because I did not have great skin when I walked in. Remember, antibacterial soap on my face, it was red, it was splotchy. It didn't look good, but now I feel like I have this breath of fresh air skin back and better than ever. And while you check out Bear Pro, be sure to check out beautyiq.com and qvc.com because we have the Complexion Rescue Foundation Stick. We are the only ones in America that have it. You can even get it on Bear Minerals' own website. It ships out to you February 4th which I think is great because for those of you that are like getting excited about spring, I think spring happens the day after Valentine's Day. And so you'll have that just in time for like your warm weather in Desvis. Um, but until then, Bear Pro, super lightweight, serum based and full coverage. Um, I also use the pecan shade for most of my complexion. And then I use the sandstone just underneath my eyes as a little bit concealer. I then used the Brow Master in Brunette to do my brows, and I didn't really overdraw them. It was just kind of like keeping a casual brow. And then from there, I used these wonderful shadow sticks that come in a set of five, and they're all metallic shades. I used all of them. That's what happens when we do Makeup Monday. I would like to be the person that's like the five ingredient dinner, you know, when I get back to cooking, <laughs> but I'm just not ever gonna be that. Back so, to food. yeah, back to food, because I'm lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so angry right now. <laughs> no, really, just crying on the inside. Um, <laughs> But that will always be a problem when you tune in to Makeup Monday because if CC and Jamie give me a palette with 16 shadows in an eyeshadow palette, I will find a way to use all of them. <laughs> um, so that's neither here nor there. So I used all of these. And just to give you an idea, we've got like bronze, we've got gold, rose gold, we've kind of got a slate color and then a beautiful silver tone. So cools and warms, staying with that metallic hue that's really on trend right now. And then I took the one uh, fine line. This actually comes in a set of four and you get plum, brown, navy, and black. It's got this little tiny micro line that when you get it home, you just, you twist it counterclockwise. That's going to raise the line that you can either tight line with, you can do it a little thicker if you want to, but you just can't unwind it. So make sure you pay careful attention to that. Then I went with two of my favorite mascaras, Love Every Lash and then Lash Domination. I used Love Every Lash to really define every lash and then for my volume boost to make it look like I had uh, like falsies on, which I'll show you right here. Can you see, Sean? Is that, do I need to turn more or no? Uh, no, we're good. Yeah. So you just kind of get that straight up moment. And I just feel like my lashes stay up longer because I have that five o'clock slump. Much like my attitude, my lashes just tend to <laughs> go on down as the day progresses. So we used those two. And then for blush, we didn't pull any blush today, um, just because quite frankly, we forgot. And so I had one right in here. And so it's like, woo, -hoo. it's easy fix, Eve Pearl. And you can close your eyes, just dab it right on in there. Uh, and then last but not least. Highlighter? Highlighter! Look we how have Tammy asking what highlighter shade. Okay, so this is Crystalline. And then I used the Iridescent Quartz. Look how pretty that is. And you can make this as like a shadow. If you wanted to do like dewy eyes, you could do that. Even if you wanted to like put some on your skin, like I am so red, maybe I'll just even that out a little bit. This right there. Ta-da. But yeah, I put it underneath my eyes, on my cheekbones, blended it in, love that. And then last but not least, we used liner. We used the Gin Nude Lip Glosses in the where did you go? Okay, in the Absolute Impress and then the Ingenious. So yeah. Yay, Makeup Monday. Yay, Makeup Monday is back. And so next week, we will see you back at 4 p.m. for our little version of our happy hour. And so we try to pick themes that are current, obviously with the month of January, your complexion needs a breath of fresh air. Don't forget to check out the new foundation, uh, Complexion Rescue from Bare Minerals. It's on qvc.com. That's gonna wrap it up for us today. But we will see you back next Monday at 4 p.m. Bye, beauties.